Greetings, my friends. Those who know me know how much I love the Jewish people. I love the Jewish people more than any other people on the face of the planet. I love them because they're God's chosen people, and he loves them, and I love them. I also love them because they've done more to bless this world than any other people in the history of the world. All the big inventions that you love, you hold dear, and, and the things that make you healthy and, 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 and well and, and wealthy and so many things, they come from the Jews and from no one else. They have the highest IQ per capita of anyone in the, on earth and they are blessed their, their, their whole country is an anomaly the fact that it, it's 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 turned from pure desert to pure beauty and, and just lush fruit and vegetables shipped around the entire world and beef and and, and gold and, and 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 oil just like the bible said it, it would happen israel is a is a it's just a, an astounding place and i love the jews and i have many inside contacts among the jewish people in israel inside contacts with jews period and I know for a fact, via my contacts, that the Ark of the Covenant, the original Ark of the Covenant, has been found. The Jews know where it is. They know exactly where it is. All they're waiting for is for the imminent rapture, the third temple to start to be rebuilt. As soon as they get the, the go-ahead for that temple, that Ark is going to mysteriously appear, and it's going to it's going to be amazing. We're going to be gone in heaven, the true bride of Christ is, but that that Ark's going to be right where it, where it used to be in the Holy of Holies, and boom, it's going to be there. And understand <clears throat> that the Holy of Holies of the, of the original temple is, is a direct replica of what's in heaven. The heaven in heaven, the Holy of Holies, the Ark of the Covenant is right there. God made mirror images of those and brought them to earth back in King David's day. And it's, my friends, it's here and ready to go. And this is the really cool part about it. The Discovery Channel, who does so many ma major things, I mean, they do all kinds of, of, of big animal things and big scientific things and big alien things that everybody in the world watches. I mean, they get, they're the, it's the most watched of, of any of these kind of programs. Now they've come out at the same time and they're saying that they have a new huge documentary that's going to bring the Ark of the Covenant alive. It's no coincidence they're doing it right now, now that the Ark's been discovered. And Discovery Channel doesn't know where it is. They're going to, they're going to tell you, according to the preview of this, that uh, it's a mystery where it is. It's no mystery. The Jews know exactly where it is right now. A small handful of them, sworn to secrecy, have located it, found it. They, they know exactly where to get it at when it's needed. It's amazing, man. Praise the Lord. It's incredible the times we're living in right now. And all the signs of Christ's return are here right now. Every single sign is here right this second. The Christ is about to just snatch his bride away. The world's not watching. Sadly, the church is not watching, which is which is inexcusable. The church is a joke for all intents and purposes. It's a it's it's a whitewashed mausoleum, like the Bible says, and it's disgraceful to see what the Christian church has become. It's just a garbage pit for the most part. And uh, sadly, so many Christians who Christ says that all who come to me and ask shall be saved. They were saved at one point. They refused to repent of their of their past when they were saved. We're saved of, of, of past and present sins, and future sins have to be repented of. The Bible has hundreds of scriptures that prove this. In John 3.16 itself, the word believeth, believe, believe it, whatever you want to use. It's a past, present, future tense word. You have to stay close to Christ through through repentance. It's not works, and it'll, it'll be shown as fruit that you display, which is works, but we're not saved by works. Christians are so confused about the Bible, man. Their, their brains are just are just backwards when it comes to the Bible for the most part. But they'll find out the hard way when they're left behind for seven periods of hell with all the unsaved that they should have listened to me and others and read their Bible the right way instead of listening to the lies that men feed them all the time. It's just sad. And I just keep telling them, man, I've been like Noah, even though I couldn't even tie his sandals. I'm the least in God's kingdom, but I've been shouting from the rooftop for the last 14 years, warning you all. Noah did it for 100 years, man. Bless his heart. 14 years has been a nightmare for me. I can't imagine 100. But he was dealing with the local population. I've been dealing with hundreds of millions around the world. And I'm telling you, time is truly short. I'm telling you, everything is lined up. All we're waiting for is for, is for God to give the word, for Christ to get us out of here, and we're gone. And I can't wait to leave this wicked, filthy, festering hellhole, man. This world makes me want to physically projectile vomit all over the screen. I, I have a hard time getting through every day, man. My health's failing me. I'm just having a miserable time in life. But you know what? I'll keep going and keep going and keep going because the Lord gives me the strength and I, and I love him with all my heart. If you've never been saved, you're backslidden. Pray the prayer to the six steps in the box below the video. No one's guaranteed more time in your life. If you'd like prayer, contact me. I'll pray for you every day. And look up true Christians or redemption draweth nigh. We fly soon. May God bless you. Help me share the word. I'm sensitive relentlessly across social media because of my faith. They hate God, Jesus, the Bible. Hate true Christians like me. Fake Christians can do what they want to do. I'm not worried about it. Love you guys. Share.